So, what we have is I think 3 flap, 2 lag, 1 torsion, 1 axial. So, about uh, R3 or yeah, 3, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1. But 6 or 7, 8 modes or 9 modes we take R4 flap. 2, 3 lag, torsion, then we do system. Okay. See, we all learnt very simple equation, first order equation. If you take x dot equals a x, a is a constant. This you write immediately the solution as x is equal to some constant e to the power what right x of t. This is the solution or uh, the constant is the initial condition may be at t equal to 0 x is equal to x naught. So, you may write this as basically x naught e to the power a t. That means, uh, this particular term as time evolves from 0 is changing the initial condition in the sense not that initial condition is changed, initial condition is getting multiplied to some time varying function gives you the response at any specific time. Similarly, let us now go to this equation. Okay. Now, how will I write my solution? A f t can be, it is still a linear system, it can be any time varying function. Now, if you write assume this solution x of t as e to the power integral t 0 to t a tau d tau and then x 0, x 0 is the initial condition. This is the solution, this is the solution to this equation because if you differentiate this what will happen? x dot e to the power, so that will stay as it is. So, e to the power minus t 0 t a tau d tau. Then you differentiate this part that will be nothing but a t and x naught. Okay. And since this term Okay, what? This is x t. So you will find a of t x. So you say this is my solution. All right. Okay. Now you just say similar. I said this is x naught is the initial condition, and there is a time varying function which is getting multiplied to initial condition to give you response at any particular time. And this is called state transition if it is a matrix it is a matrix problem here it is just only function. Okay. And this trade transition phi is e to the power integral some t 0 to t a of tau d tau. Okay. Now, one key difference between this and that here this is also you can write if a is a constant. Okay. 
if A is a constant what will happen? This will come out you will have T minus T naught, but T minus T naught is one term. Okay. That means the difference between the initial and the response at any time. Okay. So, if it is a constant thing you will find the response is only the difference between the time. Whereas, if A is a general time function you will find T naught as well as T, but it will not be the difference. It need not be the difference. It is a function of both T and T naught it is not the difference between the initial and final time that is determining the response. Okay. This is the character and this is called the state transition in the matrix form because we are we do not solve this problem matrix is called a state transition matrix. First order one variable you can solve. Now, you extend it to matrix equation that is the starting point why we have to go for matrix formulation is I am writing now you take it x dot is a x. Okay. This you all if a is a this is a please not this can be n by 1 Okay. This you must have studied, okay. you do not actually this is called the state space representation or a first order representation this is basically called state space. Because if, if you are given a ODE linear all we are talking linear. If you are given an ordinary differential equation of any order please understand it can be second order it can be third order can be nth order. You can convert that into this format always I will just do that little bit so that you know that suppose you take the simple equation you are all familiar with the second order differential equation mx double dot kx is a let us take it 0 f of t means otherwise that will be a forcing function. Now, this is a second order equation I can have third order also how will I write in this form okay. this is what the state space representation is. Okay. What you do is there is a very clear simple thing you start you call this as x 1 you call this as x 2. Okay. Now, your equation x 1 x 2 dot time derivative that is x 1 dot x 2 dot. x 1 dot is what? x 1 dot is basically x 1 is x, x dot is x 2. So, x 1 dot is x 2. Okay. Now, x 2 dot is nothing but x double dot because x 2 dot okay but x 2 is x dot therefore, that is nothing but x double dot. So, you can best is you take this equation minus c x dot minus k x right. You know this is x 1 this is x 2 this is x 2 dot. Okay. So, you will have minus 
this is x2, this is k by m minus c over m, that is all. This is the state space form, because what we have done is y state is in this case we are talking about position is a state, velocity is another state. If I know position and velocity, then I know the other derivative, because if I know x and x dot, I know x double dot. It is not that I have to solve separately for that, you understand, but I must know x and x dot, is it clear? And now you see this can be converted into matrix form also. What you do is instead of single values, you may have mx double dot, this is a, these are all matrix. Now, how will you get the form is, you will put like this x1, x2, because this is again a vector. So, you will put that, you will put 0, 1 and here you put minus m inverse k minus m inverse c and you will put x1, x2, that is all. This is a matrix, okay. is it clear? So, what we have converted is what is the one second order differential equation is converted into two first order differential equations, but they are coupled. Okay, it is not that they are independent, not like that form. Okay. So, one second order you convert to two first order coupled. If there are third order equation, you can convert to three first order equation. Okay. Why all this is done is because then you have only one solution technique, that is it you solve only this problem. If you know the solution technique for this problem, every problem can be handled. You understand in the ODE, that is why you learn, now you will be able to relate why you learn matrix algebra. Okay. See these are very, very, see initially when it is taught, each is taught independently. Then you say, oh I am able to relate various things, because if I know, because we are going to have in the aerospace field at least, our stability problems, vibration problems, load, anything, rotor blade, all problems will come under that, we will try to put it in this, in this type of format and then immediately convert to this format to get the solution. Okay. Now, you know how to get the state space form. That is why if you are given a differential equation, you should be able to convert to state space form. So, this is a standard that is all. You take this, take the other term, put a m inverse, this goes to m inverse k, m inverse c straight. Okay. Now, we will go and then solve this problem, because the solution if A is a constant matrix, okay, that is x dot is, if A is constant, then you will say solution can be x naught, this is a vector or in other words you may write it in this fashion e to the power a t x 0. Okay. e to the power a, please understand this is a matrix, you can put it, if you want you can put it like this. It is not that every element is exponentially increased please understand. This you can expand like i plus but Euler expansion, okay. 1 by 2, I think 2 factorial what a square, right, like that it goes, okay. This is the expansion. Now, if I differentiate the into, you will put uh, okay, this is x 0, okay. I differentiate this, what will happen? This will be 
0, this will be a. Okay. So, if I put x dot, this is 0, this will become a plus a what square t plus a cube t square over 2 like that it will go right into anyway x naught will be there. You take out the a right when you take out a then what is left is a this is this term will be there okay because if you take a outside this side this is nothing but 1 plus a t plus the whole thing which is nothing but the so you will have a e to the power a t x naught this is nothing but a x okay so x dot is a x now this is that is why you are doing all these things is slowly you will realize you can you first thing is you are learnt about a diagonalization of a <coughs> matrix real matrix so you have the similarity transformation okay you get the eigen values eigen vectors you pre multiply and then do okay because when you do that if this matrix you can convert it like that you know that u inverse what i think i'll put it a is q inverse lambda q something like that similarity transformation right yes or no somewhere you have learnt yes, huh? yes? yes okay this is what now if you substitute this here what will happen is this will become you can take out q q the inside one will be nothing but e to the power lambda t that is the eigen value so you really know whether the system is stable or unstable or anything like that because a square is what a into a a into a what will q q inverse will go up you will get lambda square okay so you will have a q inverse so i will write it maybe that will become see you substitute this here then what will happen x becomes i plus a is q inverse lambda q t plus 1 by 2 factorial q inverse lambda square q because in between q inverse q they will become identity okay because a square is what a a you substitute this and like that this will go on and you will have x naught what you do is you can write this as q inverse q so this can come as q inverse 1 plus r i you can take it lambda plus lambda square over into q x naught okay this is what so q inverse e to the power lambda t q x naught you follow now you see it is a very interesting thing the eigen vector please remember the eigen vectors of the matrix A is the same as the Eigen vector of matrix this e to the 
power a t is a matrix. Only thing is you have to you do not know how to evaluate that is all because it is a series right. The Eigen vector of this matrix e to the power a t is same as the Eigen vector of a, okay. but Eigen values are not same okay. because this is Eigen value is lambda for this that Eigen value is this e to the power lambda t. Now, you basically what you do for this kind of problems if you are given you want to analyze stability because all flight mechanics problems everything you analyze stability. You want to know whether the system is stable or not. You look at straight away go solve the Eigen values of this problem. Okay. Once you know the Eigen value it will be a complex because we are not dealing with the, uh, real symmetric positive definite nothing of that sort because you see this is not the symmetric matrix first of all of course this is a real matrix this is not symmetric. So, Eigen values can be real complex anything. So, there is no specific condition you understand. So, you get the roots and those roots essentially tell you how the system is stable or not and if it is stable how much stable or if it is unstable how far it is unstable in the root locus. Now, you know that why root locus is used and then you want to change the system because now you say I go change my system A so that make it stable sometimes you cannot make it stable. Okay. Then you start feedback control, this is how the whole thing start the entire subject of then you can have a external loading. Then the control system if you go they will put x dot equals a x plus b u. Now, for helicopters u is theta naught, theta 1 c, theta 1 s, theta tail rotor. So, u is the control angle pilot gives then this. Now, you say you want to stabilize automatic stabilization that means you have to go give a feedback based on how the system is measured that all uh, that we will leave it we will not bother about the feedback control and other things just basic system this is the system is the system inherently stable or unstable is determined purely by the matrix A. Okay. Here we look for the Eigen value Eigen values will have complex roots real part imaginary part. So, you say your uh, lambda some kth root sigma k plus minus i omega k if sigma k is positive then you say e to the power positive positive is it will grow with time. So, it is unstable if sigma is negative it is stable, but this omega will make it oscillatory whether it is a oscillatory mode or it is a non oscillatory mode. Some modes can be oscillatory some modes need not be oscillatory you can have only real roots so that means this will not be there. Okay. So, this is what you analyze now the question is if A is not constant because for our if you take the flap equation itself it is a time varying okay. just the flap equation because you can write flap equation in that format that for state space form. The moment you put it in state space form you will have sin psi cos psi which basically that is omega t time varying. So, your matrix system this is time varying if it is time varying how will I solve Okay, is a question. Now, time varying arbitrarily is one, another one periodically time varying in the sense A repeats itself in the flap motion it repeats. Now, that is uh, slightly I do not think we will have time to do that part, but that is very interesting how do you that is the Floquet theory. Now, we will only discuss I will just briefly say if A is a function of time 
how do we get the solution any arbitrary function of time ok. So, I will erase this whole thing and we will say this is the a of t. Now, we can only write the solution this is a matrix maybe n by 1 n cross n and n cross 1. I am writing the solution because we said the initial state is getting changed that is all. So, I put this is the initial t naught is the initial condition phi t is the state transition matrix ok. This is a n by n non singular ok matrix, but what does it satisfy? It satisfies phi dot t comma t 0 is a of t phi t comma t 0. This has to satisfy this condition satisfying the condition ok you can put it this is the condition please note. That this looks like uh, this equation itself, but here these are all states. Uh, this is a state transition matrix. So, you may call this as a state transition okay. Now, you can verify why it has to be ok. That is, we know that this condition, right. The first thing is if you set t equals t naught, that means this is x t naught, x t naught equal to phi t naught t naught, that, that means phi t naught t naught must be i, this is i, ok, first condition. So, you know here phi t naught t naught is i ok. Next uh, you take a derivative of this equation because we will give a proof that it has to be like this. If you give a proof x dot t is what d over d t of phi t comma t naught x t naught which is phi dot t comma t naught x naught sorry x t naught ok, which is also this is what this is nothing but our original equation a a of t x this is what this equation is. Now, what is x? x is a t this. So, phi t comma t naught x t naught. So, you see ok. So, you see this is equal to this because either that or you substitute now in this you can substitute this this is what a t phi t t 0. So, phi t comma t 0 x t 0. So, you see x dot t is this x dot t is this ok which means both are same. Therefore, 
the characteristic of the state transition matrix is it must satisfy this condition and phi t 0 t 0 is i. Okay, now, okay, we set the condition, but how do we get it? Okay, there is no easy way to get it. You cannot write it as a matrix exponential. Why we cannot write it as a matrix? Like we wrote e power a t. In the single case, we put integral t 1 to some t 0 to t a f tau d tau. Can we do the same thing here? You can do provided I will show some condition is satisfied, otherwise you cannot do. Is it clear? I will erase this part. Okay. So, you have given the proof that phi dot, what is the condition for that transition matrix? It must satisfy this with this, that is all. Now, can we write phi as a matrix exponential? That is, I am going to put, because you said this is the equation phi t t naught, I am going to write can we, can we, can we write, okay, e to the power Because what was our equation? Our equation is phi t t naught dot equals a, a t phi t t naught. Can we write in this fashion? You can write provided, provided okay, that a f t and integral commute, please note, provided a t and this commute, commute means this times this is equal to that times this, a b equal to b a only if they commute, otherwise you cannot do it. But it is possible only when A is constant or if A is diagonal, otherwise you cannot do it. Okay. For a general case, you is not say A B equal to B A, please note that, that in the matrix 2 into 3 number, yes 2 3 is 3 2, that is 6, this is 6, but you cannot put it for matrices. Okay, so, these are all very important that is why as an operation is it commuting. So, provided it commutes you can write the solution, suppose if they do not commute, sorry this is not the solution. Okay, then how do you say that they have to commute? That is purely from the this proof is here, I will give the proof. That is you take you do the expansion that is e to the power this is a matrix only. So, you can expand it, expand it i plus integral t 0 to t a of t sorry a of tau d tau plus 2 factorial you will have 2 t 0 t a tau d tau a tau plus so on, so on, so on. Okay. Now, you see this is the this expansion. Now, if I differentiate phi dot, phi dot this is this is a t, okay. but this will be 1 by 2 factorial a of t integral t 0 t a tau d tau plus 1 by 2 factorial integral t 0 t 
a tau d tau and then a t because this okay first you take this take now if these two commuting then this is you can take out a outside okay if they don't you can write this solution you follow now this is the main problem in if they don't commute how will you write the solution if they commute you can put it in this format so don't commute i'll write the solution it is uh, no way you can do by hand it's a you have to numerically calculate or some simple problem you can integrate and then show so what i'll do is i'll show that part if they don't commute the general solution okay this is again a series so general solution is this is a series expansion i plus integral t0 to t a of tau d tau plus i'll put tau 1 okay a tau 1 i open a bracket here here i put one more t0 to tau 1 a tau 2 d tau 2 close put d tau 1 okay please note this is a integration inside you do and if you want to go to the third term it will be still t0 to t a tau 1 you open a bracket t0 to tau 1 a tau 2 okay open one more bracket put integral t0 tau 2 a tau 3 d tau 3 close d tau 2 then close d tau 1 okay plus so on so on so on okay this you can show because what you do when i differentiate this phi dot this is zero this is at here what will happen because the entire thing is over t so tau 1 this will become at and this will stay as it is because this is just a dummy index okay like that what will happen is one by one it will stay as it is and this is the series solution you have to do numerically only you cannot there is no way you can compute this easily okay this is as far as a general aft is concerned now i will give one small example i'll solve after that we will i'll just briefly mention but we will not be able to do it because that derivation takes a lot of time that proof okay but that is an interesting thing suppose you take a simple problem that that 0 1 0 t now you try to get the equation by yourself okay with the t t0 as 0 compute transition matrix transition matrix is basically what is the solution to this problem so you solve phi t comma t0 so what it will have very first is i i is as it is okay then the second term will come a tau d tau you have to put that that means 0 1 0 t put the integral that will become 0 tau so this will become first term that is integral 
0 to t a tau d tau is nothing but 0 to t 0 1 0 tau d tau which is okay that is the first part first term this is the first term now you have to go to the second term so this is i maybe i'll write it this is 1 0 0 1 and this term is 0 t 0 t square over 2 then plus we have to calculate this term that will be because we can use tau maybe i'll do it that term will be 0 to first you evaluate tau 1 okay now this will be so you are going to have this is tau 1 tau 1 square over 2 okay this you multiply to now you have to do this 0 to t a tau 1 a tau 1 will be 0 1 0 tau 1 multiplied to 0 tau 1 0 tau 1 square over 2 d tau 1 okay because this you put then you multiply when you do that then you take that matrix multiplication okay this will become what integral 0 to t I think 0 0 I think tau 1 square over 2 and then tau 1 cube over 2 okay d tau 1 okay now this again 0 0 this is tau 1 cube by 6 and the limit this is tau 1 4 by 8 so that will be t so the third term will become like this 0 t cube over 6 0 t 4 over 8 plus so on so forth because I am not this is what the general solution is now you add all of them that is your solution so 1 this term will be 1 here you will have t t cube by 6 etc here you will have 1 plus t square over 2 plus t 4 over 8 etc. So, like that you will have a long series okay. this you have to do only numerical. Now, the next question comes okay, you wrote a very general a t I am not interested in a t I am interested in a t which is periodic okay but there are a very special equation this you maybe i don't know whether you are exposed to or not there is something called a matthew equation okay matthew it is by i'll just write that equation this is just for your uh, this is matthew equation this is one or you can write it in another form also there are various types of uh, ways it can be written another way is they write d square f by d t square sorry d x square lambda minus h square cos 2 x f is zero. any form any all, all are pretty much same okay this is called matthew equation here it is periodic okay but of course this is a second order you have to convert to first order you can do what 
initially people were interested in seeing for what combination of lambda and h square okay combination the solution is stable okay so if you look at some advanced books they call it some c function s function something like that okay they will be there they will give the condition of stable condition that means at this for this combination of values i will get a stable stable means a periodic solution and there is a diagram i cannot draw the diagram the region of stability for what combinations it will be stable for what combination the system is unstable but it will not tell you what is the value of damping okay you can only say it is stable it is unstable now you may ask how stable it is am i near the imaginary axis how close i am see if you are very far on either side you are highly stable but if you are very near your stability is just the marginal stable but that result will not give you that okay but it will tell you the regions that is a separate uh, formulation derivation you assume a series solution and then put the condition that it is stable then what should be the values okay there are various uh, the period of the solution can be t or t by 2 you know various type of sine function cos function all those things are there i leave out that part the floke theory says if x dot is a of t x t and a of t plus t is a of t periodic because we are interested in periodic solution okay if i will not give the proof because proof i have i will simply mention this statement if you have this condition what is the form of please understand my transition matrix not the form this is my equation which is periodic please understand it is a time varying equation only only thing is time varying rather than very general very general i wrote the long what is that that series solution okay if a of t is periodic the floke theory this is what floke we call it floke lyapunov theorem floke theorem anything you can call lyapunov okay you may find it in different form but i have got it from some notes i am keeping this way what it says is the form of this there is a proof proof i have it will be in this form and p of t is p of t plus t the form of the transition matrix okay is this the proof is here i will not go into the proof because it takes about 2 3 pages of notes but it is a very interesting proof okay now you know this is the transition matrix you try to find out basically r is a constant matrix r is constant constant matrix okay the whole purpose is finding out the transition matrix first okay how r is related to the i will tell you what r is related that is at the end of the proof it will give you this 
R is a constant matrix which is given by e to the power r t is phi t comma 0. Okay. e to the power capital R into T, one period. Okay. So, what is done is you start at 0 at the end of one period, what is the transition matrix? You evaluate okay. because you are given the equation. All transition matrix have to be have to satisfy what this equation right sorry a t v t comma t 0 they have to satisfy this equation always. You try to calculate this matrix by solving this differential equation at the end of one period you calculate once you calculate you know the relation you find out the eigen values of this okay this eigen value is related to this eigen value immediately you will know the eigen values of r what is the real and complex if it is stable you will say my system is stable if it is not my system is unstable so this is the procedure that is adopted to find out whether stability of the rotor blade in forward flight not for simple flap problem flap lag torsion stability they use the floquet theory get the transition matrix and then roots of that theoretically these are all done theoretical calculations industry whether they use it normally they do not bother okay i will put it that way <laughs> okay because you try to design the system such that you do not get into any of these problems okay this as a uh, interesting result you want to know what is the damping that is available you want to know what is the frequency what is that then academic side yes it is very very important but one of the equation i I wrote to you this equation right. The problem this, this is not just arbitrary but there are several examples for this one of the example because you are all structures people one of the problem is this I think it is a some can beam with the this is a buckling problem okay. You all know Euler buckling static problem, but only thing is this tip load is time varying. If you write the equation for this in fundamental mode, because this is a continuous system, you have to do single mode, you do finally it will come to this form. Okay. It will come to this form in one mode, each mode it will be the same equation, first mode, second mode, all modes will then they start looking at whether stability of this for what values of lambda h they are related to these properties and then p 1 how they vary okay. whether the system will be stable or unstable unstable means it will just vibrate and then break. Okay. So, if you go to Google search Matthew equation they will give various places, but for structures from the point of view of vibration and aero field this is the problem. Suppose I give you this problem, go and derive the equation. This is an axially loaded beam. Okay. If you want to derive, you, this is of course much easier because I am putting same axial load throughout. 
I can vary the axial load. This you study if you take theory of vibration next time, okay. And uh, the procedure is get the transition matrix, relate the eigenvalue. I am not going to the details because it is a little advanced to this and stability of the system is purely based on the eigenvalue of this transition matrix, okay. Because composite materials for rotor blade, you always mention that uh, it has a good, of course, fatigue characteristic is good, damage tolerance is good and you can tailor the properties. Tailor means you can create coupling, bending, torsion coupling, anything by keeping the fiber. But you do not do any such thing in the manufacturing of a actual rotor blade because you still do not know what all these coupling effects will really introduce to the blade dynamics. So, the composite material is used in such a way the layup is that the final design will look like an isotropic blade, okay. So, that I am safe, do not try to put too many things and then finally, you really have no clue what is happening because whether it is due to aeroelastic problems or whether it is due to the this layup gap. So, most of the times industry uses the material for something, but tailoring even though it is said, but make sure that you do not get into any of these problems unless you are very thorough about what happens because very one interesting point I read somewhere, they replaced a actual blade, metal blade. See, this is one of the projects you say, I want to replace the metal blade by composite blade. You know the dimension, you know the mass distribution, you just make a composite blade. So, this is a major project. That means, my, all my helicopters, I will throw away old metal blades. Now, I will use composite blades. So, one of the projects, what they change? what is that everything should be, you know dimension should be same, you know the mass distribution must be same, you want the stiffness also to be distribution to be the same, but then only you will say dynamically they are same. And they made a blade because dynamically means how many modes you will make its first mode, flap mode, lag mode, torsion mode few of them you say okay metal blade whatever it has I will have the same thing in the composite blade design it is not that easy design you made the blade put it on the helicopter they fly you find lot of vibration okay and this was in one of those uh, articles why question mark that is all that is the end because nobody knows why, what is going on. I say that everything is same, but I put this, I have more vibration. You, you follow what I am saying? So, there are many things which we do not know. And therefore, but you take the risk, but very calculated risk. That is why if you had listened to the talk, what uh, that visitor Vishwanath and Dr. Vishwanath mentioned, it is very important. But uh, you try to learn more, but always cautious in your design, conservative thing because you do not know several things. <coughs>